My name is Aubrey Green. I'm a research associate for FWRI, and I study the rare reptiles and amphibians throughout the state. Right now I'm wrapping up a project on a carpenter frog. The carpenter frog is only found in two counties in Florida. Uh, we are at the very southern extent for this species. They range all the way from New Jersey to Florida along the Atlantic coastal plain. Their distribution throughout that area is fairly spotty based on a particular habitat that they might be looking for. One of the main things that they really like is sphagnum. Uh, so this species actually has been coined the sphagnum frog. And uh, this is their habitat of choice. There's a lot we don't know about this frog here and really throughout their range. They're very, very understudied species in North America. Starting in 2020, we've put out frog loggers to monitor for these frogs that will record when we tell them to. We can learn when they're calling in a night, um, not just what nights they call, but when. Now that we know we still have this species, we want to know more about them and when they're calling to help us better learn uh, how we might be able to manage them or at least monitor them in the future. We'll be looking for carpenter frogs. Listening for them is the easiest way to find them. Uh, you listen for a, a, a calling male advertising for females. Impassable Bay is the habitat we'll be in. And Impassable Bay is a very ex large, expansive, wet prairie. It's very different from a lot of the habitats we have here in Florida. Uh, it's basically the very southern edge of Okefenokee Swamp type habitat. And so it's very large area, full of sphagnum, about knee deep water. So we found a carpenter frog and there's a few ways you can tell uh, this species apart from um, the others that you might find out here. Uh, they're a small, true frog. Um, they don't get very large, so if you have a big frog, you definitely don't have a carpenter frog in your hand. They do look a lot like young pig frogs. And one of the ways you can tell these two species apart is the webbing on their back feet. Their fourth toe, their longest toe, the webbing on a pig frog toe goes almost all the way to the tip. Whereas on a carpenter frog, it uh, stops well before the tip, and so you have a lot of uh, actual toe past that webbing. As a Florida heritage, we should want to protect this species and want it to stick around, so that's why it's important to do research like this to A, find out that we still have them, and then B, make sure that we can do everything we can to, to keep them. These, it's a small little frog, not very pretty maybe at first look, but uh, it's, it's easy to fall in love with them once you try to find these guys after a while. Perfect little carpenter frog.